Hey everybody, it's Rachel Cash from Mixtape Theology, and I'm going to be reviewing this book, Losing My Voice to Find It, How a Rock Star Discovered His Greatest Purpose by the former lead singer of Audio Adrenaline, Mark Stewart. Now this was a really good book, and I finished it today. Now if you were a fan of 90CCM, which I bet you were, and you can't have 90CCM, without audio adrenaline and this book takes you on Mark's journey from childhood to present day and he gives you a lot of funny anecdotes and events that happened behind the scenes in the 90s that I think that you will absolutely love as well as um, some of the inspiration behind some of audio adrenaline's biggest hits I laughed during a lot of the parts about the 90s and really got an inside look about the industry and really helped me to understand how unique the 90s Christian rock era was in the 90s. I don't think we realized it when we were in the middle of it, just how crazy and unique it was. Um, and then this book also really talks about a lot of serious topics. I mean, this is Mark's story. And, you know, the, the, the front tells us that he loses his voice, but he really loses a lot more. And there's a part in this book that is really touching because it's at a point where Mark feels at his absolute lowest. Um, he feels broken, he feels defeated, he feels ashamed, and God does something and intervenes in his life in such a way that was so sweet, so meaningful, and so um, tender and exactly what Mark needed at that exact time. And that is a part of the book that I will remember the most so this book was excellent and I highly recommend it and it just reaffirmed to me the power of Christian music and how God uses that in the worldwide family of God to bring us together to help us to go out into the world to live for him to teach us more about himself and the kingdom um, Christian music is such an excellent and wonderful gift that he gives us and the organization that Mark has founded um, along with um, his parents and some other people who have worked closely with him in Haiti. Um, they've started a ministry called um, the Hands and Feet Project, and they are still active and working in Haiti. And so if that's something that you're interested in and you're wondering what you can do um, to assist people in Haiti, uh, well, check out Mark's ministry that he started and see if there's something there that you could get involved with. So this was a great book. I highly recommend it. And I'm kind of wishing that there was a part two, but maybe in the future there will be one. So for now, signing off.